welcome. I love the way Dartmoor bursts into life each spring with all manner of bird life, bustling around, building nests and feeding chicks aplenty. On Dartmoor, and in other places, many birds nest on the ground, which is why it's so important to keep your dog on a lead between the start of March until the end of July. However, many other types of birds nest within hedgerows or up in trees, and these are the types of birds that you and I can help by building a nest box and placing it in your garden at home. Keep watching to find out how. There are loads of bird box designs out there. I'm going to walk you through a design by the Wildlife Trust. You can get the help sheet by following the link in the description. Don't worry if you don't have the exact dimensioned wood available. Your box need not be exactly like this one. Use whatever untreated timber you have available, modifying the design to make do. You will need a length of timber about 150cm long by 15cm wide, a saw with a straight edge, or you can use a ruler, a tape measure and pencil, a drill and perhaps a large drill bit, some screws and a screwdriver, or you can use a hammer with nails, and for the roof you'll need a piece of old inner tube, a pair of scissors and some clout nails. Lastly, a clamp or a vise may come in handy. Have an adult help you, especially with the drilling and the sawing. Wear gloves and consider eye safety. First, mark up and cut out the pieces as shown in the help sheet. Modify the measurements if need be. Remember to measure twice and cut once. The cut between the front section and the roof should be at an angle. This helps the roof to close properly. Take care when making this cut. Excellent! You should have a back plate, two side pieces, the base, a front panel and the roof. Now we're going to drill the entrance hole. I'm making a bird box for blue tits, so I need a 25mm hole. If you don't have a large enough drill bit, simply saw 75mm off the front panel. This will give you a letterbox design like this, ideal for robins and wagtails. Drill the hole as high as you can to stop chicks from falling out. I've drilled mine so as to leave 3cm of wood between the hole and the top edge, so it shouldn't split. Rough up the reverse of the front panel so that chicks can climb out when it's time for them to fledge. Next up, drill a few drainage holes. Voila! Let's put it all together. I like to use small screws pre-drilling to ensure it doesn't split. You can use thin nails if you prefer, dull the points to reduce the risk of splitting. I start with drawing a guideline, then tracing around each side panel. I then mark and drill holes through the back panel and copy those over to the edges of the side panels as shown. They can then be accurately screwed into place. Next up is the base. Slot it in place and carefully screw or nail it firm. Again, I prefer to use small pilot holes but don't worry if it's not perfect or split slightly. The front is much easier to fit. Ensure the top edge of the front panel is flush with the sides and not protruding. Fix it in place and check inside to make sure there's no nails sticking into the living space. Time for the roof. We're going to use a piece of old bike inner tube to create a hinge and to cover the gap between the back of the roof and the rear panel. Cut about 25cm of old inner tube and halve it. You can use an actual hinge and some felt if you prefer. It doesn't really matter, so long as the gap is watertight and the lid can be opened for cleaning each year. 
I like to use a single screw to hold the roof in place whilst doing this. Don't use a nail as you'll have difficulty removing it. Place the tube so that it evenly covers the back of the roof and the rear panel. Pull it around one of the edges and fasten it to the rear. Then stretch the tube tightly across the front and around the other edge. Tack it in place. Finish by fixing the tube down on the front. Hurrah! You have your bird box. Well done. No need for a perch because that could attract predators. Good stuff. Now, where to put it? It's really important to face the bird box somewhere between north and east. This will prevent the birds overheating in strong sunshine and spare them from the worst of the rain. Tilt it very slightly forwards to further encourage the rain off. Don't place it too close to a bird feeder or where people walk as this will disturb the nesting birds. Finally, keep it away from places where predators, such as cats, can easily access. Remember ladder safety! Be patient and don't be tempted to peek inside. Remember to clean the box out between October and January each year with boiling water only. Mind those fingers! That's it! Thanks for helping our feathered friends. I hope you have some new arrivals soon. Enjoy!